The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God, word, and prayer. On this August the 21st, we continue in the book of Ephesians. Today we're in the second chapter, verses 1 through 10. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways, that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us life, O Lord, according to your word, and we shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ephesians, the second chapter, verses 1 through 10, entitled, By Grace Through Faith. And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by, the great, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So far the word. Judaizers threatened most early Christian communities, teaching that Gentiles had to obey the Old Testament law in addition to faith in Christ. But Paul insists that God saves both Jews and Gentiles by grace through faith apart from any works. Today's self-help culture likewise tempts us to try to do it all of ourselves. We pray, Lord, help me to abandon, help me to abandon, Lord, my self-confidence and rejoice in your grace alone. In your name we pray, amen. We continue in prayer on this 21st day of the month. We pray that the church would work together in God-pleasing unity and that their joint efforts would further God's kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.